Mike? It happens over time. I think we got snowed in Denver for three days once. We had three teams snowed in Carolina for a weekend once. So uh, it, it's really not that big a deal. We got to practice today. It's a shift of days. It's actually a lighter week for us because we uh, gets rid of one of the back-to-backs, drops us to 13, so we don't mind that. <laughs> Update on the guys that uh, didn't skate today, I guess starting with uh, Shifley and the yeah, guys. I think they're all very probable. Mark, Mark will play tomorrow. Uh, uh, Sean will we'll have to see how it feels tomorrow. Any update at all on Tyler Myers? Better. Better skate today. He's still on alternate days, but uh, yesterday, rather, sorry, he skated and then had good results, so okay. Sturm wasn't too bad. He was able to get to the rink. How about Daniel? Uh, would he be an option tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's cleared. There's no issues. Right. And what about Jacob? Where is he at? Uh, we'll see how he comes to the wall. Okay. Yeah. Not hopeful. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll see. I don't. I don't know if I'm hopeful yet. How would you assess the season of Dustin Bufflin overall? Um, a lot like most of our veteran drivers. So in the same manner of. You know, Blake and Brian um, taking on more you know, responsibility is not the right word, but taking on more of a load with the team that had been banged up a little bit. Um, so he's, in terms of personality and investment in the days that we have, outstanding. You know, he's really matured over the years. Not that he was immature, but he's taken on a role where he's mentoring young players and, and drives practice and keeps the mood intense at the right time, but positive, which which takes a certain certain strength of character. This hasn't been an easy year, and, and the years aren't when you when half your club is a pretty young team and you suffer what we've suffered through. Those are the guys that get looked at, right? The people are responsible and to pull this team out and through. Um, and he's been, and they've been really good. They're all, we're always looking for more and better play from every athlete. But in terms of the load we've, we've asked them to shoulder this year, it's been strong. Are you seeing a big difference in risk reward? There seems to be a lot of debate over that element of his game this year compared well, to there last. There would be no doubt that there is less, right? But Dustin will have more risk in his game on the ice with certain players and depending on how we structure the lines. So the younger the group, the less risk he puts into his game for the most part. Um, when he's on the ice with Little or Scheif and Wheeler, and I guess Mark's he's still a young guy, to see him up the ice more, to see him behind the net more, they know how to play off him. He's a little bit more patient now, depending on who he's on the ice with and the recognition of, of who they're playing against. Because for the most part, two of our three lines are, as they are today, are pretty young. Um, and they're going to get out against a good unit, right? They started to run Johansson against uh, Ehlers and, uh, and Line and Little. So a little more patient thinking this guy's got to be the best kid in the league. I'm sure that Toronto feels that way about uh, Austin Matthews. So great, great young players. We're pulling for our guy. What do you hope the riders look at besides goals, assists, points? What do you feel riders need to look at besides just the numbers that I would, jump out I would at you? think responsibility and then and then development of the game, right? For both players, we, we Patty plays against the other teams. We play them in our top six. At times, we played them with Nick Ehlers. I know Mark and Mark. Mark's still a young guy. That's a pretty young group of guys who goes out too. And uh, <laughs> but they play against the elite, right? They'll, they'll, they'll draw the shutdown parody an awful lot. Um, and then, but then after that. I think you probably really are relying on the statistics to tell you the stories because it becomes very subjective after that about the development. Right? Patty Heine is a markedly different player now than he was at the start of the year. The reason that that story won't get told as much is because he's, his scoring has been pretty darn consistent. I mean, he's been came in as a shooter and has been been good all year, but his play away from the puck has made huge strides, and and he's still 18. Has somebody worked in that Toronto media market? Are you concerned at all about Eastern bias, or is that a myth? Are we in terms of it helping specific, Matthews? Um, I don't know what the numbers are, right? California won the popular vote, didn't they? <laughs> that was right from the hip, too. I just kind of thought of that. <laughs> just, just briefly. Uh